In this video, I'm going to cover the recent controversy surrounding Tesla's Megapack. I will share the results of my week-long stakeout of the Megapactory in Lathrop, California. I will cover what Lathrop's current run rate may mean for Tesla financially and speculate some on the future of the Lathrop Megapactory. Hi, I'm Bradford Ferguson. I am a financial advisor, but this is not financial advice. Tesla sent bulls into a stampede when it announced its new Megapack factory in Shanghai, China. Tesla grew its battery storage business by 60% in 2022 and is set to grow at an even faster rate this year. Previously a money-losing operation, Tesla's energy division made money last year. Megapacks are giant batteries used to offset the variable power generation of solar and wind farms. Skeptics such as Jim Chanos and Gordon Johnson are calling it pure fantasy that Tesla can scale to 40 gigawatt hours by next year. And despite evidence to the contrary, they're saying not a chance that gross margins are as high as 50%. Megapack bulls such as Mark Henry claim that Tesla will have no problem ramping to 40 gigawatt hours this year and say operating margins will be 50%. Over the next two years, a minimum of 30 gigawatt hours is planned to go into the U.S. The states in the most need are Texas, California, Nevada, and Arizona. The queues to connect battery projects to the grid have grown to over 400 gigawatts. The growth of clean energy in China increases its appetite for battery storage. We believe the slowing growth of solar in California is a result of lack of storage. When solar is too plentiful, it punishes the utilities with negative prices. In our February Tesla stock report, we talked about why Tesla historically had not earned much profit from their Megapack business in Nevada. The primary reason being is that they were fixed price and they got hurt when the price of lithium went up. Tesla has meaningfully raised the price of its Megapack and allowed the price to float with the price of lithium. This is why we think earnings before tax margins can be 40%. The need is certainly there. We believe Tesla could recognize 90 gigawatt hours in 2025. With a 40% margin before tax, they could earn 15 billion in profit before tax. This is very meaningful because last year Tesla made 12 billion. My trip to Lathrop was inspired by the many drone pilots. But 24-7 drones over Lathrop is just not possible. Even satellite imagery would not tell the whole story. I knew that Tesla was making Megapack 2XL and storing them in the parking lot. How many per day was only a rumor. The current production rate of Tesla Megapacks is 12 per day. I was also told that yes, Lathrop is operating seven days a week, which is very important for running some numbers. Excited by Electrified's rumor, I traveled to California to see for myself. At first, it was too windy to get a drone shot of the parking lot to get starting figures. Two Megapacks were waiting on the street while a third one rolled out. Little did we know that Megapacks are a social creature that like to travel together. I was thinking that Dylan's source was on the high side, but this made me second guess myself. It was at 4.15 p.m. Monday, March 14, we were able to get the drone in the sky and get this picture. In order to count the Megapactory's run rate, we had to observe how many left by truck and how many the parking lot grew or shrank by. It turns out there were 67 in the parking lot, just too shy. Before I show you the results and share my analysis, I want to talk for a moment to all the rebellionaires who are listening. A rebellionaire is someone who rebelled against Wall Street's cookie cutter advice and ignored the media's fear, uncertainty, and doubt campaigns to go in heavy on a stock and made millions from it. I can help manage your concentrated position by opportunistically adding, trimming, and selective use of options and provide pragmatic planning without judging you or forcing you to diversify. If you want someone balanced in your corner, pause this video now and go to rebellionaire.com and reach out. 
What you're seeing now are all the mega packs that we saw rolling out a mega pack tree Lathrop over the following six days, or 144 hours. With the help of three other members of the Tesla community, we were able to watch the factory for 24 hours a day. It can be good to be early on Saturday, this early bird found the worm and took it to its mate. Wow, 42, what a number. Here we see the feet of this mega pack clearly match those in the other pictures. As Drew Baglino explains, the mega pack 2 XL weighs 82,000 pounds, which is why Tesla has to use large flatbed trailers to haul them. 42 mega packs rolled out by truck, but we need to get a full count of the parking lot to see how much the parking lot grew or shrank by and then add or subtract that from the number. The three closest to the building are oddly parked and we counted them in both pictures. So the parking lot grew by 16 mega packs. 42 plus 16 is 58. I have to confess it's pretty boring when a mega pack comes out one every two hours. So it's possible I was looking down for one or two when they rolled out. My guess is that Tesla Lathrop Mega Factory is averaging 10 to 11 mega packs produced per day. This video from Investor Day shows Mega Factory while it was under construction. It only had one line going down the middle. What else do we see? We see that it's very empty on the right side or the north side of the building. A lot of the space is taken up by parts. I speculate that you could push the parts to the outside and add more machinery on the right side. At the bottom we see a red conveyor that goes left and right to go to different conveyors. We're facing the other direction so we see on the left on the north side all that empty space taken up by parts. My guess is that Tesla could double the capacity of Lathrop just by using the space with added machinery. After my visit, a little bird told me that they would be operating close to 24 a day if they had more equipment near the end of the line. I'm not talking about the red straddle loaders, I'm talking about equipment used to make the actual mega pack. I'm hopeful they can get this new equipment soon, but until then they're limited to 12 a day on the best day. Maybe they get it sometime around Q3. I forgot to mention earlier when you were watching those mega packs pulling out that each of those sells for about two million dollars. When you're looking at the last picture of the parking lot, you're looking about 170 plus million dollars in that parking lot. So if we do some napkin math and look at 10 per day, 91 per quarter, two million dollars each at 20% before tax margins, and apply a 15% minimum tax rate to that, we're looking at $619 million in additional profit per quarter. Divide that by the fully diluted shares outstanding, and you have an additional $0.18 cents per share profit that Tesla is not making today. This is a potential increase of 20% to Tesla's overall profits. But when is it financially recognized by Tesla? These battery storage projects can take three to maybe even nine months to be energized, to be fully recognizable. 
So at the earliest, that's Q2 of this year, but the latest is Q4 of this year. To put this in perspective of how much shock this would be at to Wall Street, Wall Street is at $2 billion in mega pack profits in 2025. Tesla may hit that run rate very soon. In my opinion, this will surprise many. Full production once Lathrop doubles the equipment toward the end of the line. At the earliest, this will be financially recognizable in Q1 of 2024. At 20 megapacks per day, that's an additional 1.24 billion in profit versus today, or 36 cents per share per quarter. Remember at the beginning where I mentioned Shanghai? Production there may get started in the second quarter of 2024. What Tesla does well is learn from their mistakes. Tesla, in my opinion, will apply Lathrop learnings to Shanghai. It should ramp much faster, but don't sleep on Lathrop as they may be able to double capacity. Tesla also said Shanghai's initial capacity will be 40 gigawatt hours. So that means they may be able to also double capacity. We don't know what other tricks Tesla has up its sleeve. Does it make a mega factory in Mexico or Ber Berlin? We don't know. Sure. It's going to be yeah. fun and exciting to watch, but with Tesla, oh, it's on. never a smooth ride. Jim Chano said the American battery storage market is gonna be limited to 7.5 gigawatt hours in 2025. But Lathrop at 10 per day is doing 8 gigawatt hours every two quarters. But it'll take time to hit the financials. It seems too good to be true, but Tesla may be the only company making battery storage at such great scale. Solar and wind is lower cost than other fossil fuel energy. And it's crucial that these get paired with battery storage. We're just getting started. It's been good talking with you.